What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I normally do. Today I am going to be sharing with you my hornworm colony. Well, the start of my hornworm colony. So if you guys have been following this channel, you would know that hornworms tend to be my bearded dragon's favorite treat. The only thing is that hornworm could sometimes be a little bit pricey. They're usually about a dollar to sometimes a dollar fifty each, which if you own bearded dragons, they don't just like eating one hornworm. No, they normally would eat like three or four hornworms in one city and that's about four dollars that they're eating just quickly like that. So what I decided to do was to attempt to make my own colony. Now, if you guys watched a couple videos um, a couple months ago, I attempted to do this exact same thing, but fell short. Um, I made the cocoons and everything and I was super excited, but they just didn't make it. So I decided to kind of retrace my steps and do a little bit more research. And I finally had some success in producing a moth. Um, and hopefully from there, now I could start producing some eggs. So now I sorta of have a decent routine on getting them nice and big and plump. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you sort of a care for these hornworms in case you guys have these small hornworms and wanna get them nice and big and maybe even get them big enough that they turn into a moth and that they could start producing um, their own babies as well. So you could have a nice cycle going on and, and you guys could breed your own hornworms at home. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. Let's go. Okay, so we got all of the hornworms in here. Now, I have them inside of this container. Um, I also have some egg um, containers in there as well. I put paper towels underneath so they could grab onto things. But what we got here for food is this Rapashi Superfoods for Super Horn is what it says. But these are just hornworms. Um, and it pretty much is a powder mix that you just put really hot water um, and you mix it, leave it in the refrigerator, let it out so it could get room temperature. And I just slice it up into cubes and I just put some in here. Now, the ideal thing to um, do for these guys is make sure that you're giving them a lot of food. Now, since there's a lot of them, usually I do like to separate them a little bit more. That way they're not just kind of like fighting and eating each other like that. Um, but what we're gonna be doing today is actually just trying it out because these guys are just going at, at it. Holy son, dudes, calm down. I need to feed you guys. Okay, chill. But I'm gonna just try to see if I could just place some in here and if they would just eat it and grow like that. If not, I'm gonna separate them um, like how I would normally would and do it that way. But you do need to be on top of these guys because if they eat their poop, they can die. So definitely make sure that they're always clean because um, their poop. I know this might be graphic, but the poop pretty much looks like that, which if you look at it, pretty much looks like the food. So I'm just gonna put some food in there and hopefully they um, start eating away. Okay, so I placed some food in there and as you can see, it is a big chunk of food. Um, you could pick this up at your reptile store or online. I paid about $28 for this whole container and it'll probably make you a good bunch um, you probably won't need this much for it. I made this whole container full Had this little guy in here I did want to separate him because uh, these bigger guys tend to bully the small ones so you could just see them munching away and They will get bigger and bigger within a couple of days So ideally you do want to make sure that they're all eating sometimes you get stubborn ones that get stuck or like this guy can't even find the food so you just want to make sure that they eventually do so if you see one just roaming around, maybe pick him up or guide him towards the food. Come on, dude, let go. Just place him on top and then he will just start eating away as well. Um, so that's just something that I do. You don't have to do it, but I noticed that if you don't do it, um, they can eventually die because they don't get to the food because they can't find it. So here you go. So ideally if you do you know, put them in a smaller con 
container, it might help, but I've never worked with this many. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully um, they could continue growing like this. But now that I have them set up, I'm gonna put them back inside of the reptile room and I'm gonna show you guys um, the next step on what you will see these guys turn into. So once the hornworm is nice and plump, usually the size of my thumb, yeah, that's a, that's a nice big thumb. <laughs> But usually they get nice and plump. Um, they will turn into these cocoons and as you can see this thing is still moving It's still alive um, And one thing I did differently this time which makes perfect sense is just add a little bit of humidity As you can see I have a little bit of that eco earth um, and that cocoa fiber as well in there and We got four of them, but one of them actually already started to hatch out and what I decided to do was you know add a little bit of humidity as well as add something that they could climb up on and they could spread their wings like this guy right here look at how cool and beautiful it is now i successfully was able to pretty much get this going um, i'm not going to touch it because i do think that it still needs a little bit more time for it to dry up its wings but this is the best moth that i've produced where it doesn't have any stuck wings the wings are not messed up the wings actually look nice and healthy so once it's fully um, dried up I'm gonna transfer it over to a different enclosure with a potato plant I'm debating either to pay uh, to blah, blah, blah. I'm eating I'm eating <laughs> I'm debating whether or not to use a potato plant or a tomato plant um, tomatoes tend to be a little bit toxic or they are toxic for bearded dragon So I'm probably gonna do a, a potato plant. I do have both of them growing um, So I'm probably gonna you know put one inside of the enclosure um, That way these guys could eat as well as they can also lay their eggs on them now if you know a better way to reproduce these definitely let me know in the comment section down below um i'm trying my best and i do think i have it down to a science now but like i said i am still learning uh, and it's costing me quite a bit and my beard dragons always get angry but look at that oh my goodness look at how pretty it is and it just pooped on me what dude why did you just have to poop on me my goodness i was just admiring how beautiful you were Oh my goodness, it's coming after me. Ah, it's pooing all over me. Dude, ah, get away. Dude, get away, get away. Okay, 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 dude. Uh, okay, you're getting way too close. <laughs> uh, why am I freaking out? It just sh sh pooped all over me, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna place it back, but I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cute. Okay, come on, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Why you gotta poop on me? Ah, why you gotta poop on me like that? All right, all right, we'll place you back. <laughs> Look at that, it's, it's really, really cute. Okay, go back, dude. Okay, okay, you, you're you good? You're good? Okay, so don't wanna mess with it too much. I was just placing it back and it decided to poop all over my hand, all over my, my stomach area. Oh my goodness, dude, you are stunning. But I can't wait until these guys hatch out as well as the other ones to come out as well. He's just going straight to the top. But he's probably just like climbing up there to pretty much just, uh, you know, spread those wings out. Okay, okay, dude, calm down. Everything will be okay. So I'm not going to mess with it too much. I kind of irritated a little bit, but hopefully next time you guys get an update from this little dude, um, I'm going to have a whole bunch of them as well as it all set up in its enclosure all ready to pretty much start producing my own hornworms because I'm super excited. Look at that. That's a nice little group of them. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully next time you guys tune in, I have a whole bunch of moths or at least a whole bunch of cocoons because I'm definitely going to try to grow all of these out to eventually start producing my own hornworms. That way my bearded dragons could have some as well. So if you guys love this video, be sure to give it a like. If you guys would like to see more, definitely subscribe. But with that being said, I'm Lord of Lion. Keep the blood pumping and I'll see you guys so here in my next Here we video. go. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification Hit that notification button, baby You gotta hit that notification Hit that notification Hit that notification button, baby You 
gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. Hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. You gotta hit that notification button, baby, for me.